What is up everyone, it's Alan's Quest here, and welcome to my full-on Bandos guide. Now, um, this is only uh, the Mage guide, and I'm going to talk about Mage today. Also, in the left-hand corner is my main menu button. If you ever want to click that to go back to the beginning of this guide, you can. Now, we're going to talk about requirements. So, uh, 70 strength to go into the Bandos boss room is required. Um, and completion of the troll stronghold quest um, to get into the area of God Wars. Um, also, this is a magic guide, so if you are maging, I require that you at least use 70 magic. Otherwise, it's not really worth it. So, uh, recommendations for killing Bandos is a team of two or three people with voice chat usually people that you know so that they don't scam you and don't bless your grave if you die also decent gear and some money to buy food and potions um also now 70 plus magic and defense or 75 magic and defense um for the ganodermic armor which is awesome defense and magic uh, um offense and then also use earth spells um the higher ones like surge and wave now, two ways to get there, walk there and uh, do the Trollheim teleport. If you would like to see how to walk there, I've got a link in the description. And then um, for the Trollheim teleport, I'm actually going to show on screen. And uh, you have to have the quest um, Eggers Roos completed. And this quest is a fairly easy quest. I think, it, yeah, it's 61 magic to teleport here. And it requires one or two laws and two fire runes. Now my compass was faced north the whole time, so it's easy to follow where I go. You just go east all the way down the mountain and then north. Okay. So first timers also need a rope to go down here. Um, at least that's how it's been. Um, I don't know if they changed it since EOC, but alrighty. So uh, kill count. Kill count what is it you know it, when you enter god wars dungeon you have this in the left hand corner of your screen now to get in a bandos it's very very easy kill count you just got to kill creatures and once you reach a certain number which that certain number is 40 for bandos and every other boss 40 kill count to get into the big boss room so you're going to kill certain creatures um using whatever spell which i recommend earth spells for um killing bandos creatures but on screen um, i'm going to show you exactly where to go to get kill count because god, god wars is a very big place so um when you get down in the cave and you're all geared up which we'll talk about the gear later you're going to run straight north okay and when you get north there'll be goblins and um a few other things which i'll talk about the creatures in a second but you're just going to simply attack them use abilities and um you know don't use dread nips or anything like that but definitely try to kill them as quick as possible use abilities and thresholds and ultimates now on screen um, you can see all the different creatures that you want to be killing such as goblins hobgoblins jogers and ogres are mostly all the low level ones don't kill orcs the orcs if you kill one they will all attack you and um so yeah once you have your 40 kill count you are going to simply run west okay so you're going to run all the way north pretty much and then west and there's going to be this door this is the door that requires 70 strength to get into now once you get in it you're going to run straight north in this tiny tinier room not too tiny but and then run a little north and run a little east and you will be at god wars um or you you're already at god wars i'm talking about bandos though um if there's a team in there obviously hop but that's how you get there all right so the ability bar overview now this bar is a new feature in the evolution of combat and a lot of people are questioning about this so if you have any questions at all i actually made a full guide um, talking about this bar and um, different uses for it and how to use it 
and um, it's a very helpful guide. It's on screen right now. If you just click that annotation, you can pause this guide, go watch that one, and um, you if you just know nothing about it so you can go over there and click it now on screen i have my ability bar now there probably should be some changes or might be changes this is the most effective way i are the most effective um abilities i use and i actually kind of organize them so one through uh five is basic abilities six and seven are threshold and eight and nine are ultimate abilities now on the end i put some dread nips now if you don't have dread nips um, from the dominion tower um food obviously you can put some food on there and it's easier to eat also in um the dash uh, slot it's called regeneration and this is very helpful at the end of every bandos kill throw on ge uh, regeneration and what it does is it takes all leftover um ability uh or adrenaline and it turns it into health and it heals you and then at the very end you can obviously um if you are using steel titan or iron titan put a summoning special attack on there or a potion all right so i'm not going to really talk about the abilities too much because it's kind of basic, you know, you just use them on the boss, and um, so yeah. Alrighty, so gear and inventory setup. Now, the gear and inventory setup, I'm not going to explain. It's all going, I'm going to put it all on screen. Yes, I'm going to kind of explain it, but not fully explain it, alright? So, it's going to be all on screen, and if you have any questions on what the item is, or what, um, you know, what an alternative is go in the description and it has all the items listed on um beginner average and experienced okay i'm not going to put text on screen because that would take a very long time several several hours for nothing if i can just put it in the description so go check the description now if you need help on anything that you just saw on screen now the thing about kill count also is that you have to have a bandos and zamorak item before going into god wars otherwise you are going to get piled by these creatures okay so definitely definitely just for the 40 kill count bring your bandos stole is what i recommend it's very cheap and uh it's it's pretty good and then a zamorak arrow uh, those are the two items i recommend also if you have a next item such as a virtus boots uh, tour of a plate body you know whatever next drops um, that can also replace your zami and bandos item Alrighty, so now we're going to talk about the uh, inventory, and um, you want to have extreme or just regular magic potions or overloads if you really want the defense, but it's not recommended really anymore. Overloads are not strong like they used to be. Now, prayer renewals, um, 6 to 10 prayer flasks, 4 to 6 sharks, 2 law runes, 2 fire runes for Trollheim teleport, uh, 1 to 2k wave or surge casts dread nips obviously optional they're a lot harder to get and they are from the dominion tower if you guys are wondering i said that a little bit earlier but and then uh the summoning creature the summoning creature is kind of a big thing um if you're using pack yak um bank everything pretty much now if you are going solo or crashing people use steel titan but if you are soloing and you want to make profit definitely bring yak steel titan only if you have a friend with you that is banking all the bones and stuff and then if worse comes to worse and you really really need um or if you have low summoning get a bunyip get a unicorn um unicorns are currently nerfed still i don't know about the bunyip but um definitely use steel titan or yak and they will definitely pull off some uh some juicy loot or some juicy hits so um, the most important part of the guide is the fight because a lot of people watching this have never went to bandos before the fight is very simple all right it's going to be the same thing every single time so it's it, he never changes up on you all right bandos pretty much is a do once do it again do it again and then you've pretty much got it so as you see here i am getting ready to mage i've got berserker on and he is here all right so i start using some basic abilities just like any other normal combat training style you know just do you basic abilities to get my um my adrenaline bar going and then instantly do the choke uh ability now it's not called choke it starts with an a i don't even know how to pronounce it but it's fine 
Um, so you keep on going and why you want to do the choke one is because because it does damage over time and um, it's very helpful if you have a steel titan or iron titan um, definitely put him on him and keep on f spamming that special attack also throw a dread nip if you have it and uh, you want to try to get the kill almost every time now it's pretty easy to um, mage is not the best i'm pretty sure darox is or um, some other style but i'm pretty sure darox because i've seen a lot of people whoop here at darox which i will be making a guide on but uh, you pretty much just kill the minions and then at the end of the kill you're simply going to use regenerate to use all of that leftover um uh, adrenaline to transfer into health so now i'm going to talk about tips and tricks there's actually going to be nothing on screen um all i'm going to do is read them off so listen closely all right so the very first tip i give you is get soul split get soul split get soul split all right when you go to bandos and you are soloing or not really soloing this isn't a soloing guide so i'm not going to talk about that so say you're with your friend and instead of actually praying melee since it doesn't fully protect it's actually smarter to use soul split now and um you know you get health back it's good and um it's only 92 prayer which i know that is expensive especially if you are very poor but it is um very very worth it but if you can't afford that protect melee um if bandos is on you and protect against range if he is not on you all right now tip two i have is uh if you have the money for arm storm this is for the rich rich people if you have the money to do arm storm and um then do it you know bring an arm staff and then do the arm uh storm spell and then also do earth spells at kill count do not do not do arm storm it will do good but earth spells are um strong really strong against goblins so definitely use that for kill count just to save some money unless you are really that rich and just don't care about money um now my third tip is to bring tele tabs obviously a lot of people don't like bringing tele tabs but you never know if you start to dc or something and um your internet is going crazy and you know you're on your uh whatchamacallit dial up you know little telephone thingy and it's making all that noise i probably a lot of people don't remember that kind of stuff but some people still have i don't think people have dial up maybe but if they do you know you could lose that dial up at any time so definitely bring a tele tab it's not worth risking you know your bank or possibly some loot and all that but um also my fourth tip is to use abilities don't use momentum a lot of people are like oh i can just afk bandos do not do not do not afk bandos all right um it's very it's very doable it's easy to do that but most likely if someone tries to crash you if you're using abilities you can definitely out hit a guy that's using momentum now this is the first of many guides and on screen you can see several names that uh of people that have helped me out and um i appreciate all these people they've been giving me a uh, lots of tips and tricks to do this um, and put this guide together so special thanks to all of them and um i definitely appreciate all of them uh now i'm going to be creating a few other bandos guides to um uh, you know complete this series of bandos now if you guys have any tips tricks or anything i need or i forgot or need to include in this guide um let me know in the comment sections and i will see what i can do and uh if you have a good tip that uh or recommendation leave your rs name also because i will give you credit for giving me that tip um but if i get multiple people giving me the same exact tip um i'm just gonna you know put it up there and whoever first said it you know i'll put their name or whatever but anyways guys i will talk to you guys later and i hope you appreciated this guide also activity music go check them out um they made all the awesome music in this video so i will talk to you all later and peace